That's a lot of new members, holy sh**. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back, I am Antoya. This is State of the Squadron number 34, I want to say. I should really check that before I start recording. A few inches later. Yeah, number 34. <laughs> State of the Squadron is a show where I talk about things happening in and around Star Citizen and Test Gaming are wonderful and thank you to you, a very, very massive gaming guild involved in almost everything gaming related, which is, I guess this is a good story to tell, we'll get into a second. First of all, I want to tell you about the wonderful, wonderful news about Star Citizen, which uh, I was just checking the funding chart. Now this is impressive. And if you haven't followed Star Citizen or you are new, I'll explain why. Not since the very, very, very early days, November 2013, when the game was launching, everyone was excited. It's going to be a space game. We're going to play it any day now. <laughs> Little did we know how long the wait would be. In November of 2013, they did 78 one million dollars in funding we just cracked that it is a new record 7.83 million dollars in november of 2018 why is this a big deal montoya you ask well one of my biggest concerns ongoing concern with star citizen is funding can this project keep on making people excited for spaceships which they can't have in the game yet, or maybe now they do have in the game, so CIG is learning. Can people be excited enough to keep on funding this project till it gets to where it needs to go? The answer to that is yes, as we can see right here. 7.8, was it 3 million dollars in funding in November 2018, which, um, you know, good work CIG. That impressed me, but that sale, the free flight we just had, uh, selling the Idris, the 890, all these ships, people really, really still want to buy them, apparently, as you can see here. So, a big sigh of relief that interest is there and growing. Just on Twitch last week, some major, major streamers streaming to 40,000 viewers were playing Star Citizen. This is moving. This is getting to where it needs to be. So, I'm very happy to see that. And uh, looking down our new member list, which... Uh, you know, I, I get kind of surprised every time I take a look once a week or so. And just so many new names. And I want to thank you guys for choosing Test Squadron and uh, Test Gaming as your gaming guild. There's so much that we can do together and develop further together. And I recognize a couple of you guys already. Uh, look at this glorious bastard. Yeah, Gustavo Julio. <laughs> Calex. I don't know why you show up as a new member because you've been around for what four years. Uh, did we ban you and you came back? Probably. Uh, distort. What is up with the rubber duckies and uh, there's a strange fad going on? I'm not sure if I like it or not. Uh, Darth Vader coming in as an affiliate. Filthy affiliates joining an organization all the time. Don't we still love you guys? Uh, Affiliate versus main member. I guess this is a good topic to bring up. What are the advantages or disadvantages of being a main member or not? Listen, we don't know exactly how this is going to work in the game yet. But if you are an affiliate member of TEST, you're welcome to join us and do everything we do. But as a main member, there will be a lot of perks which come to you, such as access to our org hangers maybe. You can go grab an Idris, take it out. Affiliate members, you get nothing. We just don't shoot you as much probably. <laughs> But if you are an affiliate member and are considering drop over, become a main member, and uh, I'm sure that once the game is out, we'll figure out what advantages main members will be getting. Look at this guy, Ecstasy. I do look at your picture, and Ecstasy is actually what I feel. Uh, hey, El Chapo, I recognize you from the forums already. A lot of you guys are already active, which is great. Speaking of, I want to show you our forums now. TestSquadron.com is our Star Citizen forums, but it's expanded and covers a lot more things uh, like other games too. The reason we have our off-site forums is that before Spectrum started, Spectrum are the forums on RSI, we already had this up and running for two or three years before that happened. So our main community is here on TestSquadron.com. If you are a new member or even an affiliate, drop by there, say hello, 
and uh, get some likes and start chatting with other people. Come on, break the ice. It's very important. Speaking of breaking ice and meeting other people, I want to show you another site we've started using recently called Gilded. Now, I haven't spoken about this much because we're still trying it out, but new, you new guys coming in, I, I want you to go check us out also and uh, give me your thoughts about it. Now, what Gilded is, and this is interesting because I remember on Reddit, there was a guy, his name is Eli, and he said, I want to start a site that allows me to coordinate with my guild members to create events. Uh, Some place essential, we can all do it together. And he started this from scratch two years ago and integrates very nicely with Discord. It's got a Discord bot, which we do use. Now, we haven't used Gilded too much because uh, we're still kind of easing into it. There's a lot of tools still coming. It's under development. But so far, it's been extremely interesting. So Gilded.gg slash test. Go check it out. And let me give an example of how I use it, for example. Now, I've been playing a lot of Fallout 76, which is a great game. Don't listen to what they say. I thought Fallout 76 would suck. I played 100 hours, and now I love it. (laughs) I'll make a video about that later. But I'm enjoying the game. So, for example, all right, click on the home section down there. It'll drop down. Drops down. It gives you a list of all these different games people are playing right now. Fallout being one of them. Go to Fallout and I click Roster. Here is a list of test members playing Fallout. So if you're playing Fallout and going, I wish I could play with some friends, I'm so lonely, click on Roster. There it is, the list of people playing Fallout. Feel free to add them as friends, drop into the game, have fun. Another example, Star Citizen, very likely. Here's the roster for it. Add yourself in the game. Here are people you should be adding to your friends list. They'll be in the game. Go hang out, have fun. Do we have Anthem already? There is a playtest for Anthem coming out on Saturday. I'm really excited for. And here are a bunch of people who have... uh, Hey, William, there you are. Didn't know you always signed up. Uh, Who will be involved in Anthem. So give that a shot. Uh, Drop by gilded.gg slash test and give me your thoughts on that. Now, I know a lot of you new members might have a lot of questions. Feel free to ask them on the forums. I'm going to have to cut this video short right now because I have a lot of things to do. But if you're interested in this beautiful crap, I'm wearing the wrong shirt. This is supposed to be a test squad shirt. If you're interested in this beautiful hat, there's a merch store. Link below, test.gg slash merch. You can get it all there. Again, welcome to all the new members. It is wonderful having you here. As always, if you enjoy this content, thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. There'll be a lot more coming to it. I love you all. And as always, this video is brought to you by my most precious and lovable and probably very handsome and good-looking Patreon backers, which are listed right here. Guys, thank you very much for your ongoing support, without which this could not happen. I love you all. I'll see you in the next one.